On the 15th of January 2011, the South Korean operated chemical tanker Samho Jewelry was making passage through the Arabian Sea on its way to Sri Lanka. It had begun its journey several days earlier when it had departed the port of Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. Transiting through the Strait of Hormuz and the Gulf of Oman, the tanker and her 21 man crew entered the Arabian Sea. It was here at 0740 on the 15th of January, approximately 400 miles off the coast of Oman, that the alarm was sounded as several small craft carrying between 15 to 20 Somali pirates closed in on the tanker. Knowing that the vessel was about to be boarded and taken over, the ship's captain immediately issued a mayday call and changed the ship's course to ensure it remained in international waters. Pulling up alongside the Samho jewelry, the pirates lifted their ladders up onto the sides of the tanker and began boarding. Within minutes, the tanker was under their control. Operating in the Arabian Sea, conducting anti-piracy patrols, the South Korean destroyer ROKS Cho Young was ordered to move to the location of the seized tanker at 19.30 on the 16th of January. The Cho Young was one of six destroyers in its class built for the South Korean Navy. She was commissioned into service in September 2008 and deployed to the Arabian Sea in December 2010. When she was called upon to respond to the hijacking of the Samho jewelry, she had a Lynx helicopter on board, in addition to 30 commandos from the ROKN Special Warfare Flotilla. The destroyer reached the position of the chemical tanker at 2300 on the 18th of January and spent most of the 19th stalking the vessel. It did so until 1500, when a small boat was seen sailing away from the tanker with four of the pirates on board. The pirates had spotted a Mongolian cargo ship on the horizon, and had sent a small group to go and seize it. On high alert, the South Koreans dispatched their onboard Lynx helicopter to intercept the small craft. Within minutes, the Lynx had caught up with the boat and began firing its onboard machine guns, killing a couple of the pirates and forcing the remainder to dive into the sea. Meanwhile, as this was unfolding, developments were taking place on board the Samho Jewelry, where the South Korean sailors had observed the white flag being waved by the pirates. Believing that they were surrendering, two speedboats with 10 commandos on board were dispatched from the Cho Young to retake the tanker. However, in making their approach, the commandos came under fire, resulting in three of them being lightly wounded and forced to turn back. Upon arriving back at the Chao Young, the three commandos were airlifted to a hospital in Oman to be treated for their wounds. With the Somali pirates showing no sign of surrendering, and with three of their own wounded, the South Korean military authorized a boarding operation to retake the chemical tanker, codenamed Operation Dawn of Gulf of Aden. Just before 0500 on the morning of the 21st of January 2011, three boats carrying 21 South Korean commandos began approaching the Samho Jewelry from its rear. Providing fire support to the operation were the Cho Young and a Lynx helicopter, which both laid down covering fire onto the bridge of the tanker to suppress the Somali pirates. The moment the commandos began boarding the vessel was captured by one of the operators, who had attached a camera to his helmet.
Unfortunately, the helmet cam footage ends there. But over the next four and a half hours, the commando teams carried out a thorough search of the tanker to isolate the threat, before assembling to storm its bridge at approximately 0930. The footage on screen now was filmed from the Cho Young, and from it we can see the two commando teams involved in the final assault. Scaling the stairs up to the bridge is Team 1, whilst at the ship's stern is Team 2. Where the sound of gunfire is coming from isn't exactly clear, but I believe it to be from this operator who we can see peering around the corner, looking towards the entrance of the bridge. As this gunfire rang out across the tanker, Team 2 began its move forward, who we can see in the lower right. Helmet cam footage from one of the operators captures this move forward. As Team 2 climbed the second flight of stairs, Team 1 began its assault on the bridge. In this scene we can see the two forward operators who led the assault. The one on the right used the butt of his rifle to break a window, whilst the one on the left moved forward and began firing into the bridge itself. The remainder of Team 1 then began moving forward to clear out the structure itself. Unfortunately, the footage from the Cho Young ends there, but the helmet cam captured the moment Team 1 began its assault as gunfire rings out across the area. The helmet cam footage then ends with several unidentified men being rushed out onto the balcony deck. In the background you can hear gunfire as Team 1 continues its clearance of the bridge. By 0956 on the 21st of January 2011, the South Korean commandos had retaken the chemical tanker, killing a total of 8 pirates and taking a further 5 prisoner. In contrast, the commandos suffered no casualties, with only the tanker's captain being wounded when he was shot in the stomach by one of the pirates.